Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Classic CC provides a spot removal tool. You can use this feature to repair a selected area of an image using a sample from a different part of the same image. This can be helpful when you want to remove an unwanted element from a photo. To use the spot removal feature in the develop module, click the spot removal tool in the tool strip. The tool drawer expands at that point. Then click to choose either Clone or Heal from the brush options at the top of the tool drawer. If you select Clone, Lightroom Classic CC lets you duplicate a sampled area of the photo in a different part of the image. If you select Heal, Lightroom matches the texture, lighting, and shading of the sampled area to the selected area. You'll also notice sliders marked Size, Feather, and Opacity within the tool drawer. The Size slider controls the size of the area that the Clone or Heal tool affects. The feather slider controls the level of softening and blending applied to the adjustment. By default, this slider is set to zero. It is usually best to leave the feather slider set to a low value. The opacity slider determines how visible the adjustment will appear. By default, this slider is set to 100. It's also usually best to leave the opacity slider set to a high value. After selecting either clone or heal from the tool drawer, then click and drag within the photo to define the area that you want to retouch. Be sure to completely cover the area that you want to retouch rather than just drawing an outline with the tool. When you release the mouse button after dragging, a white marquee appears around the selection. You'll notice a second white marquee of the same size and shape with an arrow pointing towards your selection. This shows you the area that was used as the default sampled area during the operation. Lightroom Classic CC makes its best guess as to which area of the photo should be used as the sample area. However, you can change the sampled area if necessary. To automatically change the sampled area from the default area, Click the handle of a selected area and then press the forward slash key on your keyboard. A different area of the photo is then sampled. You can continue pressing the forward slash key until you find a sample area that works. You can also manually change the sampled area by clicking and dragging the sampled area to a new location within the photo. Each time you change the sample area, you'll notice slight changes in the way the selected area is adjusted. Click the Done button in the toolbar to preserve your changes. To remove all adjustments and start over, click the Reset button at the bottom of the tool drawer. Lightroom Classic CC also provides a Visualize Spots feature which helps you identify small imperfections in a photo that might not be visible on your computer monitor, but would be visible after printing. For example, specks of dust, skin blemishes, and other small imperfections can lessen the impact of a printed photo. The Visualize Spots feature helps you clean up an image before printing. To use the Visualize Spots feature in the Develop module, select the Spot Removal tool from the Tool Strip. Then check the Visualize Spots checkbox option within the toolbar. Lightroom Classic CC inverts the image so that you can see imperfections that you may not have noticed before. Use the Visualize Spots slider in the toolbar to adjust the level of contrast and detail in the inverted image. When you identify an area that you want to adjust, use the Spot Removal tool as you normally would. You can uncheck the Visualize Spots checkbox to simply view the results of the spot removal. Then click the Done button in the toolbar when you are happy with your results. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.